Good afternoon, YouTube. I am the City Prepper. Today is January 13th, 2018. Today's self-reliance topic is going to be part two of how to make beef jerky. In front of you, you have your marinated meat. It's been marinating since part one, which is about three days. And it's brown because it saturated the soy sauce and all the other ingredients in front of you. The meat's not spoiled, the meat's not, nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly healthy. So, in front of you, you, like I said, you have the meat. You also have paper towels lined with the aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is gonna come in handy because as soon as you're done prepping it, you're gonna put it on the baking sheets, which are over here, and you're gonna put it in the oven. And that tin foil is gonna be used to prop open the oven to have the moisture escape the oven while you're making the jerky. So let's get started. So you're gonna take the meat one by one and put it on the paper towels because you want to get all the excess moisture out. The purpose of jerky is drying meat out. You're not cooking the meat, you're just simply drying it. So you're gonna try to pat it all into the paper towel to get all the moisture out. Place them one by one. So for demonstration purposes, we'll just use this for now. You're gonna fold this over. You're gonna pat out all of the moisture that's in the jerky. All the excess moisture is gonna come out. You're gonna end up something like this. There's still a little moisture in there, but all the extra liquids are out. When you're lining them on the tray, you wanna get them as close as possible without touching each other. If they touch, it's not that bad, but you want to prevent overlapping because you don't wanna have any moisture in the meat when you're either packaging it or jarring it for, for future use. Now, when you make your own beef jerky, there's no preservatives in it, so you can either eat it right, as you want relatively quickly, give it out to friends, family, or you can jar it or vacuum seal bag it to prevent it from going dead. Now the purpose of having the eye round cut is because it's less fat involved. Fat is what turns the meat rancid. So once it's on the baking sheet, like so, You're gonna put it in the oven at 170 degrees. That's the lowest setting on any oven, 170. And then you're simply gonna prop open the oven with the tin foil left from when you prepped the jerky, and that's it. You're gonna have a little lip open so the any excess moisture can escape, and you're gonna have Jerky in about two hours, two hours, ten minutes. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Thank you for my subscribers and stay tuned for further.